God bless you, friends, as you're watching this edition of This Is How I See Life. It's a regular edition where we just talk about life. Generally, we talk about things that we see happening around the nations of the world. If you look at Africa today, Africa is so underdeveloped mentally, infrastructure-wise, capacity, leadership. We are so underdeveloped. And a lot of people have come up with what they think is their opinion why Africa is so backward in the community of continents. And some say it's bad leadership, some others say it's poor education, some others say it's you know, infrastructure. No, the biggest problem of Africa is slavery mentality. And one of the elements of slavery mentality is hate. Africa is filled with hate. Most Africans are filled with hate. And they hate on people they don't even know. They hate on things they don't even understand. They hate on ideas they don't even comprehend. And it's such a, a sad thing. It's appalling. It's shocking. It's embarrassing. So sometimes when we see an expression of hate, we are bemused. We are, we are overwhelmed. We are bewildered. We are taken aback to see people express so much hate. You hate on people you don't know. You hate on ideas you don't understand. You hate on dreams you don't comprehend. Now let me tell you something. Hate is not an attack on the hated. Hate is a reflection of the state of mind of the hater. I repeat it again. Hate is not an attack on the hated. Hate is a reflection of the state of mind of the hater. When you hate on people, you are not doing them a disfavor. You are only telling the world who you are. You are only telling the world what you are made of. So you must learn to avoid hate. It's very important. You're hating people won't stop God from blessing them. God is not from your village. You must learn that all we have in life is humanity. We must protect humanity. We must love ourselves. There are many people who have committed suicide because of hate. Some have seen themselves lower, very lower than they are because of hate. We must do our best to change the narrative and that is to show someone love to them. A good compliment, a good statement, just one good um, verbal or trans on somebody or written statement can mean a lot, can save a dying soul. Let's learn to stop the hate. It's very important as you show love. You see, one of the signs of success, you must learn it now, is to have a good heart. Good heart attracts goodwill. Goodwill is spiritual. Good heart attracts goodwill. Learn to love. Even if you naturally grew amongst people who are filled with hate. And something you must also understand. When you have friends who are filled with hate, their expressions, their statements, everything about them is to hate on people. Please change your clique. You are in the wrong clique. You are in the wrong people. It's very important. If we must enjoy tranquility, we must enjoy serenity, we must enjoy equanimity, then we must understand that our, our, our clique matters a lot. Because your audience determines your ambience. And your ambience can affect your audience. The people you hang around determines the surrounding and the atmosphere you create for yourself. Don't listen to people. Don't hang around people who speak ill of their own friends, who speak ill of their own confidence. Because you might be the next topic on their lips. I've always said this on this um, program, that if you sell your brother, even the buyers will not trust you. It's very important we learn to love. Stop the hate and let love lead. This is how I see life. Johnson Suleiman.